Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clean the uh, service, the air conditioning unit, the indoor unit. And, uh, well, first of all, make sure the main power switch is off. It's over there. Okay, now how do you know the power is off? It's by trying to turn it on again with the remote. <sighs> And if it doesn't turn on, that means the main power switch is off. So we're just going to remove the cover. One and two. All right, so see, you can see the screw in there. Okay. Now the screw is out. Okay, now we're going to remove the outer casing. Okay, lift up the bottom part, then go to the top and remove the top part. Okay. There you go. And this aircon is about four months old and it's already very dirty, okay, because I use it very often. And now that you have removed the outer casing, you can go ahead and remove the uh, sensor. There's an infrared sensor here. Okay, there's a screw here and we'll remove it. Okay, some of the older systems do not, do not have this uh, infrared sensor, okay, but this is a new one. They have this infrared. It's not really that necessary, but it's all just gimmick. Anyway, we're going to remove that. And put it to the side. Okay. okay, this white thing here, this is the tray the for for collection of the water that uh, that will flow down the cooling coil. And it gets into this drain and it will and it will flow through this hose. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. So first of all Remove the host, just pinch it hard and wiggle it. Oh, this is very easy. Okay, you just wiggle it until it's off like that. Okay, slowly, so we will just move the tray out of the way a bit by bit. You can see that it's just uh, brackets that goes into the slot. So, since you have already removed the drainage, now. So we're going to go ahead and remove the tray, okay, I see some cord here, so gently just bring it down so you can use a uh, wet towel and clean the tray if there's mold and whatnot in this tray here. And you can see the, the guide veins here also need to be cleaned with a wet cloth. Or if you want, you can remove this whole this whole tray by removing the cord. Mm, I would do that, but I don't recommend if you if you're not sure, you just don't have to remove it. But what I want to show you is the part inside here. So I have a torch light here. You can see that at the end here is a hole uh, in between the fan blades. You can see the white tip. That's the head of the screw. Okay. Now you can if you can see how dirty it is. Now this is a very high precision uh, turbine, you know, and they are so high precision that the slightest contamination with dust will 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 disrupt the airflow coming out from the from the fan. So that's why it requires constant cleaning every four months, depending on how 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 severe your your usage is. So uh, that's why it needs uh, cleaning. The reason why they make it such a, a fine uh, turbine is so that it's quiet. But the, the compromise is that it gets dirty easily. And when it gets dirty, airflow will, will stop. Uh, but make sure that you use a good screwdriver the right size 
okay if it's bland or you see that your tip here is worn out don't please don't use it get a fresh one because this tip is extremely important because if it's not sharp you tend to shear the head away so okay remember to use some strong force with two hands holding the uh, coil at the top and one hand on the screwdriver and press it in and turn it around until it's out and now as you can see there's another screw that's mounting the coil it's only one screw that's mounting the coil Alright, the screw is out. Now, remember the hook here. Move it to the left and just lift it up. See, it's off. Okay, you can see some water draining out. So make sure that you have some cloth to prevent your floor from getting wet. Okay, inside there, there'll be a, a bearing and a rubber mounting. So just gently lift it up a bit and remove it. There goes the rubber bearing. And After removing the screw here, okay, remove for about two turns uh, or three turns or you can remove it completely and removing the screw on this side, you lift up the coil and gently pull out the fan, the turbine fan. So you're gonna go ahead and use some soap. Some soap, if you have a high pressure jet, it's better. Or you can use a brush and you gotta clean this up pretty well, okay? Especially the inner part of the fan blade. You have to look carefully and scrub with a brush or high pressure jet. Either way is just as well, okay? But don't forget to use soap because there's a lot of oil vapor that's trapped on the fan here, which you need to remove. So we're just gonna spin it around. Spin it around. Make sure you do some inspection after you clean that is convincingly clear of dust. So they are, we put some soap, clean the filter, use some soap and uh, and do not use any kind of scrubbing agent. You don't want the uh, panel to be scratched in any way. Okay, regarding the turbine blade again here, just make sure that you do not scrub off all these white, white uh, metal tips. These are all meant for balancing the the whole contraption here so make sure that you do not dislocate them in any way right there are two here and there's another one here otherwise the blade will go off balance so there's another one here okay so you're satisfied that it's clean right you can dry it in the sun or you can use you know, if you're in a rush like me you will just just drip it dry and then we'll reinstall it Okay, as you can see, I've already put in the screw here. Okay, and make sure that it's not protruding to this hole at all. Okay, okay as you can see, the guide vanes all cleaned up nicely. All right, you're gonna go ahead and clean the inner part. You can see it's all dirty with fungus and dust. Okay, this is where the, the bushing is. Let's put it in here and then we're going to slide the whole thing in and tighten the that one one bolt that we talked about earlier. Okay, so now we're going to slide in the uh, fan uh, back into its original place. So it has to go from left to right. Okay, just lift up the coil gently and slide it in this way okay lift it up okay 
Okay, now this is the difficult part to get the the mounting into position. Okay, just keep moving it around until you get it right. Okay, you have the you have the rubber damper in place. Okay, you can see the fan can still be uh, moved from left to right. So you want to put it in the center later on, okay? So, but now I'll just show you the rubber mounting is in place, and now we'll just close the lift up the tip. Slide it down. Okay, so you can see that cleaning the indoor unit is actually very simple. There is no need, like what you see the contractor is doing, that they have to remove the whole uh, indoor unit outside to clean it and removing the, especially the crucial gas plumbing. Now, every time you remove the gas plumbing, you get uh, and you reinstall it, you have to recharge the gas and all this is going not only cost you money but there are, there's a 50 50 chance that there's going to be a gas uh, leakage uh, from the joints okay so that's why once you have a perfect installation there's no gas leakage you want to keep the the joints the gas uh, pipeline joints in place and do not want you do not want to actually touch it it's not broken so you just leave it at that and just do what uh, I did earlier by cleaning, uh, doing a surgical removal of the uh, turbine and cleaning them up and reinstalling them. And you have a wonderful breeze uh, blowing down your bedroom and uh, can save a lot of money. Okay, this is the outdoor unit. I have four here. You can see that they are exposed to the ambient. So you can see that they do not collect any dust at all. So if yours is collecting dust, what you can do is get a hose, rubber hose, uh, water hose, and just flush it here. Make sure you don't get it into the unit where the motor is, okay? This is the component, this is the motor part. You just want to flush it here if you have a lot of dust. And also you want to flush the front part you can see that the fan has a lot of dust on its leading edge you just flush it with the jet of water until it's completely clean you can also flush it here sometimes you get a lot of dust here so uh, so all this is done okay today I am I've taken a little bit longer because I have to make this video uh, altogether it's about one half hours because of the video problem but in general if I were to do it uh, professionally I can finish the job in half an hour compared to what the contractor normally do uh, they take three people and almost half a day to clean the aircon <laughs>